We were all shocked when the five lawyers were arrested. We had to call for an EGM immediately. And um, we were pleased that so many of our members, members of the bar, had turned out today, 1,428, and unanimously expressed their outrage, their shock, their disgust with the police for what had happened. Lawyers are part of the criminal justice system. We are stakeholders in the criminal justice system. And why there's a need for the presence of a lawyer when an accused person is arrested or questioned is for one simple reason, so that there'll be public, there'll be public confidence in the criminal justice system. If there's a lawyer present when an accused is questioned or arrested, it promotes accountability because lawyers can immediately correct any police access on the spot, prevent the third degree, and make sure that the police are answerable to legality. The attempt by the Minister for Home Affairs to say that lawyers are not above the law is not a reply, is not a solution, is not what we wanted to hear. The police are also not above the law. We have the federal constitution when we expect respect for rule of law. There were some amendments to the um, resolution and what we intend to do, plan of action. Firstly, uh, we are setting up a committee to look at how we can move forward. We are going to challenge the uh, decision of the police under the, uh, for refusal to allow access under section 28A4 of the CPC. We shall be filing a civil suit for unlawful detention for the manner in which the lawyers were treated. The dignity of these lawyers were affected in the sense that they were, some of them were handcuffed. And it is an affront and a breach of human rights. We shall be lodging a complaint with Suhakam to ask that an immediate inquiry be conducted on the manner of the police in relation to the role and duties of an advocate and solicitor. We shall be writing to the Chief Justice asking that he intervene as lawyers are officers of the court as well. And I'm sure these matters will be raised in Parliament as well. One of the most um, important aspects that have come out in the amendments is that we are calling for the resignation of the Inspector General of Police. We are calling for the resignation of the Minister for Home Affairs. All of you must have seen the clip which was played, has been played, and we had played the video clip eh, from Malaysia Kini at the general meeting. They were not part of any assembly. They arrived at the Brickfields police station after the 14 persons were arrested. Yeah?